Okay, I think we're live. Hello. I'm just trying to figure out how to get to my video on YouTube. <coughs> oh, Miss Maddie's bored. Hello, Miss Maddie. Hi, Miss Maddie. Hello there. Hello. Can you hear her? <laughs> Miss Maddie. Oh, baby girl. Um, so, yeah, we're in limbo at the moment where that thing won't show up on YouTube just yet, which is extremely annoying. Oh, Miss Maddie, look how pretty you are. Look how pretty you are, Miss Maddie. Oh, 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 my goodness. Oh, my goodness. Up on the desk. Uh, why are we up on the desk, Miss Maddie? What? What are we doing up on the desk? <laughs> what are we doing? Are we ready for our close-up? Eh? Ready for your close-up, are you? Okay. Oh. Come on, you can't be on the desk. You can't be on the desk, so that's not allowed. Oh! Oh my goodness! Never work with children and animals. Oh! Oh my goodness! Come on, get down. What's that in your fur? Come here. Come here, let Mummy see. What's that in your fur? What have you got in your fur? You got sticky in your fur. How have you done that? She's got something sticky. Right. Okay, we're ready to the camera. <laughs> you know when you've been maddie. Uh, as usual, I have no idea what we're going to do today. Absolutely no idea. I've got quite a few things I need to do. Um, why can't I find my video on YouTube? What's going on? Ah, there we go. Uh, yes, I have quite a few things to do. Tracy, hi Tracy. There we go, I'm in. Um, what do I have to do? Uh, I've got loads of mail art that I need to do. Um, I've got a couple of journal pages that I need to do. I've got a sudden urge to do a big drawing. I've got two projects on wood that I need to finish which is my um, my pink hair girl from that you've probably seen before and well you will have seen before it's from the previous show and my grandma not my grandma but a grandma picture hi Marilyn Maddie you're full of it you're full of it what are you doing Maddie's full of mischief today she's been up on the desk and everything <laughs> a little tight. So I've got that one that I need to finish. And I've got that one, which is from a previous show. That one's almost done, actually. I need to do a frame and do some tightening up on colours, but it came out all right. I'm quite pleased with how it came out. The red doesn't show up on camera as well as I would like. But hopefully you can see there's about four different colours of red and pink in there. And white. To give it some texture. And that's all colour pencil. So I'm quite pleased with that one. <coughs> Grandma needs... She's just watercoloured at the moment. She needs her colour pencils doing. Um, what else have I got going on? Oh, just lots of things. What do I want to do? I don't know. I'm in one of those moods where I don't know what I want to do. And given the choice, I'll go and have a nap. So, at that point, the only thing you can do is pick up a pencil and start doing something. I think, therefore, I am. Since I have no idea what I want to do, or how I want to do it, or anything, I may just grab a pencil and start drawing on some envelopes and then... Hi Shaz! You finally got here! 
Um, yeah, I might just start drawing on some envelopes and see what happens. I've got to do some mail art, so. Uh, what else have I got to show you? Hi, Helmy. Just Helmy, isn't it? Pink Pearl, yeah. Um, I've been... Oh, I was going to have a go at some of those. Oh, yes, we'll do those in a minute, because those are really cool. Um, grab yourself um, um, a magazine, an old magazine that you've finished, uh, or some, if you've got printed paper, painted papers or something like that, grab some of those that you don't mind ripping up. Um, I've just been dotting around in this one, finishing off pages and doing bits and pieces here and there, adding bits, adding some writing in places, places that have not got writing, of have not got writing for a reason, it's because I've got places that, I've got something that's going in there from my other journal, but I haven't got around to doing it yet. I've been so busy this month, it's just been crazy. Um... So, yeah, most of this you've seen before, but I've added bits to stuff. Um, I still haven't figured out what to do with that page. Every time I look at it, I see something different. At the moment, I'm seeing smokestacks, and every time I look at it, I'm seeing smokestacks. So maybe it'll be like an urban landscape in pink or something. Um, got some pictures of my bubbies. Oh. This is all biro and colour marker. I'm very into biro at the moment and um, markers over the top because if biro is, or BIC, um, because everybody always goes, oh, I don't know what you mean. You should know what I mean by now because I use them in every class. Every single class I pull my BIC out. That's a BIC. That's a BIC biro, look. Very distinctive end on it. You can't miss it. And they do them in different colours. And this is a fine one. This is a thicker one. I think these are 0 0.7 and these are 0 0.5. Anyway. Yes. Um, these are, well, all ballpoint point pens, actually, as far as I'm aware, are waterproof. So they're great for drawing with watercolour and old water media but uh, they are alcohol based so when you use marker with them they blend and smudge and and I've been using color markers with stuff color biros this is all done in pink and black biro and then I blended it out with a blender and then I used red marker over the top and then I added some flesh tone markers and stuff Maddie is out the back she is now barking at the people on the roof about seven houses away who are redoing the roof. Oh, I don't know. Some along notes, lists of stuff that I have to do that's not even complete because I'm had time to finish. <laughs> oh yes, I'm having one of those weeks. Wimworks stuff which I'm now behind on. Because if you've seen my my photos this morning, every time I try and tidy up this room I either make it worse or it gets tidy and then within 10 minutes it's a mess again. So I've decided to take a step back and say, okay, how can I work with my mess? Because I'm obviously never going to have a clean and tidy desk. I mean, I have a clean and tidy desk every night because I clean it up and I tidy it and I wipe it down and I put everything away. I've got into that routine now and it's been happening since Christmas. So I, I do it all the time now. But... It's now five o'clock, I've been in here since ten, and look at the state of it. Look at this. Look at this. And it's not just like one corner either, it's everywhere. The whole thing is just a complete and utter mess. So I need to embrace my messiness and um, figure out how I'm going to <laughs> work with it instead of against it. Oh, I found this quote in, in a magazine in the Doctors, I nicked it. And it says, the best tailoring is about attention to detail. And I was actually going to put replace tailoring with art. Because I think that's true. Uh, actually, the best of anything is attention to detail. But for me, the best art is about attention to detail. So, 
I thought it was quite a good quote to slap in there. So this has become my, uh, I don't really know what kind of journal this is, it's just kind of all sorts of stuff that I just put in and I'm really enjoying working in it because it's already got backgrounds. This is the um, Art Doodle Love by Dawn de Vries -Ockle. It's got um, uh, quotes and prompts and things in it. Um, but like this is this is a section on looking at the past and the prompt, uh, things to remember, what has happened in your life that you'll want to remember forever, take notes on these pages, you and words, doodles and collage. Yeah, I'm so not doing that. Things to remember, that will be a to-do list or, you know, a thing that, some stuff that I need to always be able to find easily, like the colour codes for my website and stuff. You know, that's what I'd use that for. Um, so there was a prompt up to, under here as well and, you know, I don't like prompts. I do like prompts, but I like prompts that I made up. I don't like other people's prompts. Very occasionally I'll see somebody else's prompt and think, oh, that's a really good one to do. Um, but usually in book form, I'm like, the, yeah, I don't really. It's not that they're not good prompts. It's just that it's not for me, if that makes sense. I don't really want to write about my childhood home. I wrote about my childhood home when I was there, you know. <laughs> so to have pages about my childhood home seems ridiculous to me because I've got journals dating back from when I was seven. I, I've been there and done that years ago. Um, and every childhood home since and every home since. So I'm not really retrospective in that sense, so I don't bother. Um, the one thing that's worrying me is the spine, which I knew was going to be a problem because it's a stuck spine. Each individual signature is sewn, but then the whole of the signatures together are glued. Um, and this is becoming too thick already. And I'm only through two signatures. Uh, and this is starting to happen. So I'm going to have to do something about that. I think I may end up taking this off, removing the glue, separating the signatures and putting on a new spine because ideally this spine needs to be at least twice as big as it is now in order to accommodate. I mean you can see how much bigger just two signatures are than the rest of the signatures. So there's like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight signatures altogether, and these two Look how much room they take up. Well, so I'm going to have to do something about that. And I suspect what will happen is I'll take this off, which would be a pain in the neck job to do because they're usually quite well stuck. Um, but this should all come off and all that glue should come off, which will leave me with loose signatures that I can then bind together myself with plenty of room for added stuff, which will make this book about twice as thick as it is now on the spine. And that will be much better. So until I have time to do that, I've not really been doing a huge amount with it. But as you can see, I'm not really putting a lot in it. I mean, I've got a few tippings and a few pieces of collage, but it's not like big chunky stuff that I'm putting in. You know, I've got a couple of postcards in the front, but that shouldn't be putting stress on the binding. I'm not putting anything like in the binding here too much. Um, there's that one, but that's just a thin envelope. Um, and yeah, that's pretty much it. That's the only thing I've got in the binding. And yet, look at it, it's getting really thick. So, I'm going to have to fix that. But I really like this book. It's a good size. Um, if you want a book that just doesn't involve having to do the backgrounds and you don't mind having to work around what's already written there, I actually quite like working around what's already written there. I find it a bit of a challenge. So, um, yeah. I think I recommend this. I I will go as far as to say right now, obviously I, this could change before I get to the end, but at the moment I'm thinking once I get to the end I'll get another one. Because I really am enjoying writing in it. It's, it's a good size and it's it works for me. Um, I've also been using these. This is one of my journals from Summerlong, which I'm not going to show you all of it because some of it's prompts, although I think most of you are in Summerlong, aren't you? Um, that's my May Queen that I did yesterday. This is the, let me get one that's got the sticker on it that you can read. Uh, De La Rowney Graduate Sketchbook A5, and it's actually stuck together with staples. I've taken the staples out and bound it with thread just temporarily um, because what happens is the staples are so tight to begin with that as soon as you open it, it starts to buckle. See, it's already buckling. 
having just opened the front. And what will happen eventually is the staples will pull through. So I always take the staples out. If you're in summer long and you're using these stapled journals, um, I did put a video up yesterday on how to rebind them like this. So it's really simple, just a bit of embroidery floss and a needle. It's not hard at all. So this is my journal that I'll be taking out and about with me for summer long. It's nice and small, it's 20 pages, it's plenty of stuff to work in. It's 110 pound paper, so it's not watercolour paper, it's cartridge paper or heavy drawing paper. But you can see it takes watercolour quite well. It ripples a little bit, but I'm not bothered about that. By the time you get something on the back of it in watercolour, if I do some watercolour on the back of this, it'll even out. So That's cool. What else? What else? What else? What else have I been working on that you want to see? Oh, if anybody missed it, if anybody came late, I think there was only Tracy here at the time. This is um, two wood blocks that I've got at the moment. This is one that I did from a previous show. I still haven't finished her. Uh, I've done a bit more to the hair, obviously, as you can see. Lots of colours, lots of texture, all pencil. Uh, I need to do, I want to do a board around her. And I've got Grandma going on here. Um, she needs her pencil layers doing. So she already got her watercolours on. Uh, those of you who are doing cherubs and crones will recognise Grandma. <laughs> um, what else, what else, what else? Oh, cool stuff, cool stuff. Here you go. Um, Wilco's. Two mechanical pencils plus refills, 0.7mm lead, HB, 60 pence, people. 60 pence for refillable pencils. 60 pence, that's 30 pence each. I bought about four packs of them because I'm always losing pencils. I can never find them. So, And I like to have like one in every bag that I'm using, one in every pencil case. And I really like these pencils. They're kind of... They're not soft, but they kind of feel soft. They're like very, very hard rubber. So you don't you don't get that kind of callus on your finger from it. Uh, it's got a nice grip. It's nice and lightweight, and the erasers are really good. They don't disappear straight away. I've used this one quite a lot. Um, and they are replaceable. So you can pop in an art shop and get these replaceable pen, uh, erasers. You can get a pack of them for like a pound. And just replace your eraser. You put your ink leads back in. Which way do you put your leads in? Oh, it unscrews at the bottom. Usually it pulls out at the top, but these unscrew at the bottom. There's your lead. Put a new lead in. It's 30 pence each, people. Hi, Darcy. So, yeah, these are pretty good. And that's um, obviously if you're in the UK, Wilco's. Um, oh, these graduate books that I was talking about. Um, I got this in, as you can see, half price in WH Smith's, £2 instead of £4. But a lot of people have been in Dunhelm Milne and found them for £1.20. So um, if you've got a Dunhelm Milne near you, go and see if they've got an art supply section. I'm going to go down ours. I've found out we've got one in town and I didn't even realise. Uh, these brushes that I love as well. WH Smith set of watercolour brushes. They actually work really well for acrylic and watercolour and oil. Um, it says so there. 12 set of brushes. Uh, half price again, 2 99 They were in my WH Smiths again. So every time I see them on sale, I pick up another pack because I go through these at a rate of knots, uh, especially the very fine ones because I use mine all the time. Obviously not the watercolour ones. The watercolour ones are still the original set, but for acrylic, I find I, it, acrylic wears your brushes down quite a lot. Oh, and I got... <laughs> I'm a bit all over the place today. Um, look what I got. <laughs> Water mixable oils. I haven't even dared try these yet. Um, I haven't been using oil paint up to now because... Um, Oil paint has linseed in it, and I am allergic to linseed. Um, and the main problem I have with linseed, uh, if I get it on my hands, it's a problem uh, because it kicks my eczema off. But the linseed combined with the turpentine, major problem for me. I can't breathe. 
literally can't breathe. I can't even be outside with it. I've tried. Um, I used to love doing those paint by numbers things when I was a kid. Um, and I always had to sit outside and I could only do it for five minutes at a time. Literally just open a pot, paint a section and go back inside because I couldn't cope with it at all. So I sought some advice because everybody kept telling me different things. So what I did was I went onto an art forum that I'm on with it's professional artists and illustrators. Uh, and I said, okay, people, I want advice from people who have assets or breathing issues and use oil paint and it not just people who are allergic to um, solvents but people who have problems with the linseed oil itself um, and it took about six weeks but eventually this guy came back to me and he said you know I have problems with the linseed oil um, and he said I've managed to minimize it by using the water mixable oil colors because it tends to be the linseed mixed with the turpentine that causes the problems um, so I'm going to try these. Uh, I've obviously I've got my big window right next to me um, with my. I've got to make a a thing, a mesh thing to put hang up there, so that I can open the window completely and Maddie can't get through it because she likes to sit in that window. Um, and it's a safety window. It's got a catch, so it only opens like four in, quarter of an inch, uh, and then you unlock the latch and it opens fully. Um, but I'm right next to the window, so I should be okay with these. <clears throat> uh, and these are the Reeves ones. I think I picked them up in the works, I think. I can't remember. I found them somewhere in town anyway. 24 mixable colours. I picked up this set because they've got a flesh tint. Um, and when you're allergic to what you're using, the last thing you want is to be asking about um, trying to mix the right colour that you want. So I thought if I get one that's got a flesh tint then I can play around with colours a bit more easily for what I want to do. Um, haven't tried them yet, haven't had time, but um, I've been I've heard good things about this particular set. Apparently they're good as a student set, so and you know, I I'm I have no idea. I've, I've like I've said I've done paint by numbers when I was a kid. Um, but it was proper oil paint and I struggled with it so much I didn't really get a chance to learn how to use it so yeah sea white journals one pound ten are specifically for wet media are they similar to these are they like this as well or are they the hardbound ones Darcy I've had sea white before I've got a sea white one actually my hardback ones are sea whites my eight by eights um, and the thing I didn't like about them and obviously I don't know if this is still true because mine is about 10 years old but the, the paper went yellow and I didn't like that at all uh, whereas the De La Rowney ones are, are um, archival and they're acid free Which I know uh, uh, acid free and archival doesn't mean, really mean anything but um, they don't go yellow and I don't like yellow paper so I, I only like yellow paper if it's meant to be yellow like a moleskin Right, let's actually do something. Let me show you these. These are so cute. Oh my God. Have you got your ruler and your, your magazine? Right. I've only, I haven't actually had a go at these, so I'm learning here too. Okay, you want to get a piece of, of paper. Just check there's nothing. Oh, that's pretty actually. I like that colour. <clears throat> you want to get a piece of paper and you don't want to make it too wide. The wider you make the paper, um, the bigger this will be. Uh, and if you want to make a tiny one then you make your paper really thin. But if you go too wide then your paper is not long enough for what you need to do. So aim for, she said the best thing to aim for is about an inch. So I can't get my ruler the right way around today. Okay, I'm going to take this out and then I can tear it more easily. Let's not fight the system. You've got those water solid drawers, what that same set? Ah, cool. Right, I'm going to take this white. No, I'm going to leave the white bit on, and that might be interesting. So I'm going to do it. She said about an inch is about a good size to start with. And you tear a piece off. Like so. 
this could go horribly wrong. Uh, then you have to make a make a ribbon loop like you do with um, you know, like for the cancer research ribbons and stuff like that. And you take the long end and you put it through there, and you try and keep it as close to the end as possible. You're basically making a knot in your paper, but don't like squish it down or anything. Just you only want to you only want to fold it down so that it stays. You just want to press it lightly so that it stays in place. You don't want to go crazy with it. So I'm just. She said you do get to a point where you can feel it won't tighten any further without you squishing it. And I think I've just reached that point. So this end piece, you can either chop it off or tuck it back. I think I'm gonna, just going to chop mine off for the sake of ease right now. I'll worry about fiddly bits later. Okay. It's a bit fiddly. But we'll, we'll give it a go. We'll give it a go. Now she said, you just keep rolling it. Yeah, flatten it very slightly so that it holds its shape, but not squashed flat. And then you keep rolling it so that the strip goes around and around and around. And eventually you get to a point where you don't have anywhere else to go. Okay? And then you take this bit and you fold it into there. But I think I might have done it wrong because I don't have it on a bit where it's going to fold into itself. Maybe my bit of paper is not long enough or something, I don't know. But anyway, that's what you do. Let me see if I, maybe I folded it the wrong way. I might have folded this long piece the wrong way. Maybe it needed to come this way. I don't know. I'm just making it up as I go along. It's Wing It Wednesday, people. We do this for a reason. Okay, now I've got a pocket. I've, I've gone the other way and I've got a pocket now that I can pop that into. See just here? So that goes down into that loop there and you roll it until it goes down and what you're left with is a hexagon and you just squish it very slightly so that it stays hexagon shaped when you let go and then you do the tricky bit which is squishing it in at the sides now I don't think this is going to work but we'll give it a go <laughs> you squish it in at the sides and because it's box shaped got to do it very gently or it goes weird because it's box shaped it turns into kind of oh it is fiddly yeah you don't want to squish it too hard a star I think the paper needs to be stiffer Because this, this bit should be popping up, not, not squishing in. Here we go. We get the idea anyway. <laughs> if you do it right, they come out as really cute little 3D stars. I don't think that's bad for a first attempt. It's a 3D star. What more do you want? I think it needed to be not as wide and wrapped a bit tighter. So I'm going to have another go. That could be addicting. Now I see what she means about not doing it too wide. So I'm going to do one a bit thinner. Oops. Maybe not that particular piece. <laughs> Let's try that one again. Okay. Alrighty, so take your strip 
and you turn it into a loopy thing. And you poke your long bit through the hole and pull it through so that you kind of get a knot. And you wiggle it through and wiggle it through and wiggle it through until it won't go any tighter without bending the paper. And then you squish it down. Yes, you squish it down a little bit to make it hold its shape. And you can tuck that bit in or snip it off. So I'm going to snip it off because this is fiddly enough as it is. And then you roll this round. I don't know if I'm going the right way or not. You roll it round and you roll it round and you roll it round. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you know what's coming, don't you? <laughs> right, I love that. <laughs> you play with it. <laughs> oh, it seemed like a good idea at the time. It looked really cute when somebody else did it, and now I'm like, oh, yeah, I've had enough already. <laughs> you want to do it with me? Okay. <laughs> Oh, let me, let me get another pit. <laughs> I'm going to try a stiffer piece of paper, actually, because maybe that's the problem. Maybe that's why it's not working very well. This is a nice stiff piece of paper. Okay. Okay, here we go. <laughs> oh. You make a loop. Like a cancer ribbon thing and then you make it into a knot so you put it through the middle like that so you end up with a knot at one end and you shimmy it through until the paper won't go any tighter without bending so you end up with a knot and then you squish it slightly so that it holds the knot without being squished completely. So you end up with that. And then this bit, you can either cut it off or, or leave it where it is. Well, I've tried cutting it off and it's not worked, so I'm going to bend it over and see what happens. Okay, so you've got kind of a hexagonal shape going on. Now you have to continue wrapping this around. Oh, I see. You can feel where it's going because it's going at an angle. You can feel it. So it's going across there and across there. And my flatmate's home and it's going across there. And you get to an end. Oh yeah, I've gone, I've gone the right way because I've got a little pocket there. And you tuck that in there, like that, and you, you roll it with your thumb so that it goes down inside. And then you squish it again to make sure that it stays where it's supposed to be. And then you pinch the ends in so that it pops up in the middle and turns into a star. Only this isn't going to turn into a star because it's too damn stiff. So I've gone from one extreme to the other. So, yeah, that's... Darcy's got a whole jar full of them. Why did? I... Why am I not surprised that Darcy knows how to make them? I bet yours are all perfect and got little, little sparkly bits on and everything, haven't they? I bet you string them onto things and make paper streamers out of them for Christmas and put them on the tree, don't you? They are wishing stars, yeah, apparently. The, you're supposed to, like, when you make one, you make a wish. And you collect a jar of wishes, and then when you filled it up, you give it to somebody as a present. I'll just wait till one of you finishes a jar and sends them to me as a present, shall I? <laughs> right. The dogs are going crazy because my flatmate's just come in. You got the knot. Right, okay, well, you, you're doing better than I did. You roll it round now. You can feel where it's going to go. It decides to go at an angle and it follows all the way round. And then you tuck the end in.
I'm sure there's a YouTube video around that's better than what I was explaining. <laughs> oh, I'm not good at fiddly things. I've never been good at fiddly things. The hardest part is getting the knot. So if you've got the knot, Marilyn, you're doing well. Oh, I just got a, a bizarre magazine today. So I've got plenty of reference photos. So I'm just going to do some sketching on envelopes for now. I'm in one of those moods where I just, I honestly don't want to do anything. So I'm having to force myself to do something. So, she's got pretty hair, but I don't like her teeth. Might use her hair as a reference. I like her hair too. I'm very into the windswept look at the moment. No, it's not left-handedness. It's not left-handedness, Marilyn, because I do left-handed as well. And I have I've already tried it left-handed and that didn't work. So <laughs> it doesn't work right-handed either, so. Darcy, do your video how to make them, will you? Because <laughs> none of us can do it. <laughs> I bet all hers are all uniform size and everything. Because she's just good at stuff like that. I'm not good at 3D things. I like her hair too. She's pretty. So, mail art. Um, I've had this question a lot lately. Um, because I mentioned that there was mail art in Summer Long. Mail art is literally mail art that you send in the mail. It's not a rack um, or a, a envelope full of cute stuff. That's not the point of it. I mean, that's nice, but that's not the point of it. Mail art is stuff that you make and send in the mail and the point of it is that the mailing of it makes it mail art yeah if you make a postcard and you don't mail it then it's not mail art it's a postcard that's that's how it works I like her I'm going to use her as a reference this is what I do on my lazy days when I can't be bothered to think for myself I just use a catalog model as a reference So it's my envelope. I like these envelopes because they're nice and stiff. I don't know what they are. I think they're card envelopes. Oh, excuse me. I think I need a nap today. Is anybody else struggling today? After three days of brilliant sunshine, it's suddenly cold and cloudy and grey and bleh. <laughs> and I think I'm missing the sunshine. have my yummy tea oh yummy tea that was another thing I bought yummy tea who asked like yummy tea um, Asda do their own brand and it's a packet this color with yellow bits and it is lemon ginger and mango a little bit of honey it's yummy that's what I've got at the moment Tracy threw hers across the room into the bin as well. Excellent. Nice one, Tracy. <laughs> Marilyn got the knot. Marilyn's actually doing better than any of us. Too early in the morning. Yeah. Hi, other Tracy. Ugh, let's stick with what I know. I'm not I'm not making stuff. I was never good at origami. Other people would be making beautiful origami swans and cranes and I'm like, I made an ugly duckling. 
Oh, let's just draw something. Shall I draw her that way or that way? I'll draw her that way. Now, let me think. Stamps need to go about here. Ooh, stamps. I need to send Sarah stamps. I haven't sent Sarah stamps. Or have I? Oh, no, I can't remember. Stamps need to go about there. I think I'll do her over this side. My shoulder's playing up today as well, which is making me grumpy. It's really sore. I think because it's cold and wet, because it hasn't been sore the last few days. And now it's complaining again. Full chat, Marilyn. Um, uh, I don't know how to help you with that. <laughs> Are you watching on Google Plus or YouTube? If you're on YouTube, just click automatic updates. There's a little bar that says enable automatic updates, and it should automatically give you new chat comments and things. New YouTube layout is a bit of a nightmare. Technology hates me this week. My phone updated to Jelly Bean, and now I can't find anything. Everything looks completely different. The only symbols that still look the same is Twitter and Instagram. <laughs> I can't find anything else. Even my email logo doesn't look the same. So I'm having to learn a whole new system again. It's really dark and dismal in here. I, I can't do anything about it because I can't. I've got the daylight lamp on, believe it or not, above my head. The oldie lamp is blaring away. For those who haven't seen it before, yes, this is my slightly bizarre way of drawing faces using a square method. As you can see, I have yet to draw the ye olde oval. I don't draw ovals. I'm bad with ovals. There's the troops. Hello, everybody. Right. Oh, 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 oh my God. Hey, enough. Jeez Louise. Hang on a minute. Dogs. Enough. Don't get your stubborn on, mister. Go on, get downstairs. Oh, here's the cat as well. Well, that was fun. Gypsy and Maddie came running in, and Arnie came barreling into the middle, and everybody ended up on the sofa and trying to climb up on the table. Oh, my goodness. Me. Maddie, what the hell are you doing? What the, what the hell? What the hell? Another cat's come to join us. Hi, cat. 
this is what happens any time I try and do any work, ever. The cat decides to sit on my work. Matty! Chill! Chill! Crazy dog! Goodness me! Hello, Mr. Arnold. It wasn't you. It wasn't him, he says. Here he is. Can you see him? There he is. It wasn't him, he says. It wasn't you, Mr. Arnold. It wasn't you. Okay. He didn't mean to do it. <laughs> Isn't he cute? Oh, he's such a lovely boy. And the kitty. Crazy cat. It's roosting in the middle of what I was doing. Come on, crazy cat. You're going to have to move your bottom. Come on, please. Move into the bottom. Thank you. Do you want to cuddle? Oh, she wants to cuddle with mum. All right, then. Sit on my shoulder. Sit on my shoulder, then. That's it. Good girl. No, you're going over there. All right, then. <sighs> right, okay. We're back. <laughs> this is a crazy five minutes. Happens a lot. As I was saying. <laughs> Um, what am I looking over there? Kit Kat, baby girl, come on. People can't see what I'm doing because your head's in the way. They cannot see. Sweetie, they cannot see because your head's in the way. Come on. You, if you want to sit there, you have to sit over there. Crikey. <laughs> it's going to be one of those days. Ticky gammy leg over there. Go on. I don't even remember what I was saying now. I was probably talking about drawing with squares. That's what I'm usually talking about when I'm drawing with squares. <laughs> My chat's not updating either now. Oh, here we go. It's just you not getting chat. Yeah, it's just, it happens. Sorry, Marilyn. Shaz, yeah, are you tired too? Yeah, I think it's the grey. After two days of brilliant sunshine, I was feeling so good yesterday. Just, I didn't go even go outside yesterday. I just sat in here with all the windows open. Every window in the house was open. And I just sat here sorting my my artwork and uploading stuff on for videos for summer long and and all that sort of stuff just taking it nice and easy and it was so nice and then i woke up this morning and i was like oh my god <laughs> it's gray <laughs> oh yeah you've come in through through youtube then marilyn so you should be able to use the dis the automatic updates. Darcy, you've tweeted me a photo of what? What have you tweeted me a photo of? Oh, here we go. The little stars. Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh, you have to do a video for how to do these stars. Let me show you. Let me see if I can show you. Oh, I know. I know. Hang on. No, that's not bit silly. You can't see what I'm doing, can you? Can you see what I'm doing? <laughs> I just realised that. Can you see the... Can you see what I'm drawing? I'll, be, I'll swap to pen in a minute anyway. I'm just sketching out the rough outline. I'll show you on here. I'll go on Twitter. And show you on Twitter. Oh, they're so cute, Doss. Come on. Oh, this update is so slow. My phone is so slow now. Come on. Why is it not showing that picture? It's a pic to it. Let's try it through the internet. Sometimes it works there. Having a day, having a day, 
having a day. <laughs> Technology hates me. La 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 la. It's gorgeous where you are, Dot. Oh my god, it's freezing cold and it's grey and it looks like it's going to hammer down with rain any minute. And tomorrow I'm supposed to be going to Buxton and guess what? Yep, it is scheduled to absolutely hammer down all day. Look at those, those, those stars, aren't they cute? That's Darcy's. Look, aren't they, aren't they pretty? I don't think I can focus any better. There you go. They're so cute! You have to do a video, Darcy. You have to show us how to make them properly without them being thrown across the room in a half. Because I like the idea of them, but fiddly. So, yeah, that's Darcy's stars. Oh, there, you can see it better there. That's Darcy's stars. I'm jealous. I don't have patience for things like that. Wrong line. Getting carried away. So what's everybody else up to this week? I know some of you are doing summer along with me. And it's fab. I'm enjoying it so much. Just having a few people to chat to and share some artwork with. Everybody's so excited about getting out and about. I put up some extra videos yesterday as well. Apparently there was a, an issue with a couple of videos. Darcy's was one of them. So if you've not checked out the meet and greet section recently, go back and check um, Darcy's section and Eveline's section because neither of their videos were working for some reason. I have had to fix them last night. Apparently they're working now though, so. Big hair. Can't go wrong with big hair, can you? Okay. Hairline's a little high there, so we'll bring it down a bit. Right, let's move on to pen so you can see what I'm doing. Um, Basically, when I'm when I'm drawing a face, I don't really. Although I'm using a reference photo, I'm not kind of drawing that photo if that makes sense. And I'm I'm obviously using this as a reference because I like the way she looks. But I'm not really I'm not trying to draw her. I'm not trying to make it look like her. Um. I'm just using it as a the basic idea uh, and I never use a reference photo like that just straight as a reference photo for a picture that I'm going to sell this isn't for mail art so it's just going out to people who've sent me letters and stuff so it's personal use that class is as because it's not paid for or anything uh... oh hi Kerry I haven't seen you for a while. And Marie, hi Marie. Oh no, no, summer long. You can you can sign up for summer long any time this summer. It goes right on through till September. Uh, and my classes are always live, so you could join at any time. Um, the way it's set out, you do two visits concurrently every month, or that's what 
what we're doing. You could do one or two or however many you want. Um, and you take four weeks to do it. So you do a visit in four weeks, and then you do another visit over four weeks, and another visit over four weeks, but you have different things that you do for those weeks. So what you could do, even if you joined now, like we're just about, we've just started May today, but like if you joined next week, you've missed week one of May. So you could catch up week one of May, or you could spend your time doing the intro week, which is all the prep and stuff, and then jump in at the beginning of June. And then at the end of the class, go back and do May. There is absolutely no reason why you couldn't do that. You could start in September for Darcy's class, do Darcy's, and then backtrack and do the original, the first four, or the first eight. By then it'll be. So you, there's no absolutely no reason why you can't join any time you want. Um, and f remember, for cl for paid up members of the site. Um, you know, if you've already been a student of mine once, you can use the um, payment plan. Or if I know you, like if you haven't been a student of mine before, but I know you, then you you could use the payment plan option, uh, which is two payments over two months. So yeah, no, don't, no, there's no cutoff date. The only thing is that tonight at midnight, um, those who pay in full tonight at midnight is the last time you can get the early bird discount. So it'll go up to full price tonight. Hello, Kit Kat. Hi, baby. Oh, do you need a fuss? Um, so yeah, it'll go up to full price tonight. Um, but the early bird discount is, I can't remember how much it is, but it's, I think it's $75 instead of 85 it works out at. Um, £50 instead of 55 but if you use the payment plan, you don't get the discount anyway. Because obviously I've got two sets of fees to pay out for that one. Um, but yeah, if you can, you can sign up at any time. There's no, there's no too late in my classes. My classes are always live until I retire them. Uh, which reminds me, I will be retiring my two classes over on Willowing to new students. Um, at some point. I, I have to talk to Tam about it and obviously she's up to her ears in organising retreats for this summer so it probably won't be till September. Uh, but if you're wanting to do Eve to Eve or use your words then you want to get in on those before September because they will be retired at some point. Um, oh, crazy cat. Crazy cat is trying to sit what, on what I'm doing. Um, but everything else is still live. There's still Portraits123 is still active. Whoops. Oh, you're all right, Kit Kat. She's got a gammy leg. <laughs> oh, are you okay, baby? She's got a gammy leg and she missed the table. <laughs> um, yeah, Portraits123 is still going. Um, that's where you learn to do this stuff. Oh, honestly, it's like bedlam in here today. <laughs> um, yeah, I've completely forgotten what I was saying. <laughs> it's one of those days, it's one of those days, la la la, it's one of those days. <laughs> Oh, I was giving you a rundown of classes that are available at the moment. Yeah. Um, portraits 1, 2, 3, which is drawing females, drawing males, and then stylizing your your pictures. Uh, there's cherubs and crones, which is drawing old ladies and babies. Again, same, same style. It's all semi-realistic. Um... There is Whimsical Words, which is not the same as usual words. Whimsical Words is crazy handwriting, uh, fancy stuff. Uh, there's Whimsical Workspaces 2.1, which is the Spring Clean 2013, or Whimsical Words 2, uh, Whimworks 2, sorry, which is Cleaning Your Workspace. There's what else is there? <laughs> oh, 
Oh, I can't think today. I think that's all. I think that's what's live at the moment. And some along, obviously. I don't know what I'm doing with the hair, I just thought it would look pretty. Ooh, chunky neck. Uh, let's see, where's her neck going? Down there, and down there, and her shoulder line's coming up there. I think I'm going to do her with the shoulder down. Just like that. I don't want to draw her arm as well. Collarbone. Yeah, that'll do. Oh, Kit Kat, you're going to break things, baby. Not too bad. Uh, right. Whoa, whoa, hang on. Can I still do the two payments? If so, do it next Wednesday. Yeah, you can do the two payments anytime, Marilyn. Um, I can't offhand remember if you've done one of my classes before, but I know you, so you know I've I've got no problem with you doing the payment plan. You can do it anytime you want. Um, the payment plan itself will probably close at the end of the live class so that's the end of September so the last time I will accept payment plans will be a payment in September for September and then October um, I'll have to work out the logistics because I've got I've got to pay all my tutors and everything <laughs> so I've got to I've got to get everything sorted before the end of the live class um, but the class will be ongoing you know it's you can carry on with it there's nothing stopping anybody continuing with the class and all my classes I do continuous critique so anytime you upload anything I do critique for it you took a break Kerry I thought yeah I haven't seen you around for absolutely ages done you some good arting like crazy that's what we like to hear Sign up next week, yes. Come and join us. It'll be fun. Uh, did I ever get the the video for the Christmas Chronicles put together? No, I haven't. Um, I did the video, the the walkthrough for the video, and the last couple of things, and then it, my computer crashed and I lost it all. So I've got to reshoot it. Um, and obviously, at the moment, I'm shooting for other two other classes and I just I simply haven't had time to do it but I will do it uh, because it is just literally a flip through I, it's not a, a massive job um, but you know everything's I can't do it on my phone because it's not steady enough on my phone it, it'll give you seasickness I've already tried it and it looked awful so phones are right for vlogging but it's not really very good for doing art journal flips I need to use the static camera but I promise you I will get it done Writing class for lefties. Oh, Kerry, I cover lefties in my class because I, I write with both hands. So you're all right. I do I do cater for lefties and say, you know, if you're doing it this way, then you need to do it this way. And if you're doing it this, then try this, and this will make it easier for you. Because I do everything except generally writing and drawing, but I can write with my other hand, I, with my left hand. I just don't, unless I have to. Um, but when I had my bad shoulder, I was drawing and writing with my left hand. Because I grew up in the 70s when they used to force you to write with the wrong hand. Or the right hand, as they said. <laughs> right, I like that. What do you think? I think she's cute. I hope you can see it properly. I can't really zoom in anymore. I could probably mess around with the camera, but oof. 
<clears throat> oh, summer long will definitely keep you busy, Marie. I promise. But it's a nice, steady busy. It's like one thing a week. Like you plan your visit, you research your visit, you organise what you're going to do, you get your materials together, then you go out on your visit, then you come back and you 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 do your artwork and you do your project, and you know it's it's all very relaxed and summery. I think I might watercolour this one. I've got very into just watercolour on its own again lately. That May Queen that I've done, she's just watercolour. I didn't use it. Well, I used a little bit of pencil just to tighten up some lines, like around her face and shadows and things. Um, Like around her jawline there, I used a little bit of pencil just to tighten up the shading and into in her hair and stuff. But all of that is watercolour, other than that. I don't know how these envelopes take watercolour, but I'm willing to find out. Shall we have a go? Uh, do I want this girl to have a dress on? Can I be bothered with that? No, I think I'll just... I'll fudge that bit. <laughs> Alrighty. Grab the watercolours. Ah, it's very stiff. This box, not good, very bad thing. Yeah, I'm going to try and move the camera down a bit. Bear with me a second. If you want a coffee, now's the time to go and get one because this might take a minute. I might even have to plug the camera while I'm at it. Right, it was quite that bad. How's that? Is that better? Is that better? Can you see better now? Hopefully I won't knock the camera. In the 50s they didn't try to change you from being left handed. You're lucky. <coughs> the 70s was all about conforming. <laughs> Everybody had to be left handed. It was, oh. I resented it actually, I still do. Very much so. I kind of like being a lefty. I like being a lefty for everything else because people watching butter toast and cut bread are like, "How do you do that? Oh my god!" I love watching people wince when I'm cutting cheese and things. That's always entertaining. Okay, who's playing bottle? Oh, it's Gypsy. Gypsy's playing bottle. Okay. Oh, Maddie's playing bottle as well. All right then. Uh, yeah, I'm hoping my trip to Buxton's not going to be rained off tomorrow because I really want to take Gypsy with me. She's um, she's okay on the bus, and I'm going on the bus. Originally, I was going by train, so I was going to take Maddie, but Gypsy likes the bus, and she'd love an outing with me. And Maddie will stay at home, and uh, my flatmate's off, so she said she'd take Arnie and Maddie down the stream and let them have a paddle. Maddie loves the water. Right, this is just. I can't see my colours. Oh, can't. Okay, no. Zoom out a little bit. There you go. I don't know what colours these are, okay, but this is kind of a dark red. Plenty of water. Oh, now hang on a minute. If I use watercolours on an envelope, it's going to burn, isn't it? Poop. I can't wait to find out what your your class is going to be either, Darcy. <laughs> She's like me, she doesn't know what she's going to do until the last minute. 
no, I'm just going to go with watercolour. If it runs, then it adds to the mail art thing. Okay, what's with the crazy, please? Can we stop with the crazy? Maddie, chill. Come on. Mummy's working. We don't make this crazy noise when mummy's working, do we? Hey? Well, we do, but we're not supposed to. Madness. And now, yep, that was just red. Just red. Oh, I could use fixative over it, yeah. And I've watered it down a bit. I'm going to do the second bit in here. Paper's a little bit too absorbent so it's not spreading as nicely as I would like. But I can fix that with pencil afterwards. So I'm not too worried about that. Daddy, you've been cray cray, baby. See, ideally these two should blend together, but the paper's a bit too absorbent to do that. Marilyn, you're so patient. <laughs> oh, what colour hair should we give her? I can't even think about colours today. Let's go blue. I believe this is ultramarine.
you going to make it to a mother's gift to your mum who's not with you anymore? That's sweet. I like that. That's is that Mother's Day in America? That's not Mother's Day here, is it? Haven't we already had Mother's Day here? It's my mum's birthday on Friday. I only just remembered this morning. <laughs> You are crazy today. orangey theme here.
Yeah, let's do that. Um, First. Oh, I'm all fingers and thumbs today. Do you ever just have days like that where it's just not. Whatever it is, it's not happening. <laughs> is it not that bad on camera? Really? I had someone always used to tell me it was awful and it was really loud. I had to turn it off. So I. But if you say it's not bothering you, then it's, it's fine. skin turn out a little bit. There are some days where I wish I worked a bit faster. <laughs> is that just me or is it anybody else? I look at people who do like five or six pages a day or you know, they get at least one art piece finished a day and I think, why can't I do that? <laughs> but I just can't. I just... And it's not about... a day get an art piece at least half finished get a journal page done or you know at least a bit of a journal page I just I just don't seem to be able to work to that kind of regime it feels too much like work then I think that's the problem Maddie Baby, what's wrong, sweetie? Oh, they're all crazy today. What's the matter, baby? Said I'd update you on these um, pencils that I've been using, these Faber Castells. Uh, I have to admit, since I got these, I'm barely using my Prismacolors. That's how much I love them. I still like my white Prismacolor and my black Prismacolor. I don't think I'll ever be weaned off of those. Um, 
But I just love how easily these colours lay down and how easily you can continue working over them as many times as you want. And I don't have any problems with not being able to write over them or anything. Like sometimes with Prismacolors, after a while you can't write or use a pen over them anymore because they get so waxy. And I don't have that problem with these. So, yeah, I think I might be a convert. At the very least, I understand why people rave about these as much as they rave about Prismacolors. And why there's such a fierce kind of oh yes but these are better attitude going on I don't think I don't think either of them are better than the other I think they're both useful for different things and you have to decide which works for you um, but for the way I work I think actually the polychromos are actually working a little bit better uh, ooh, that's a nice pretty blue oh she's got blue hair I don't want to give her blue eyes as well that's shaking about too much. Shaz, you are a machine at the moment. You're just like, I've never seen anybody do sketches and, and, and stuff as fast as you are at the moment. Not that I particularly want to be able to do that, but, you know, I, I would like to finish a piece of artwork in a day. <laughs> that would be nice. <laughs> Instead of getting... 75% of the way through it and then not finishing it for months. So that girl with the pink hair, all I've got to do is the border and I just haven't... I have been busy but I'm, I should have got around to finishing it by now. But the minute I feel like I should do something is the minute that I'm not going to ever pick it up again. <laughs> because I'm obtuse like that. Green eyes. What pencils are they? They're the Faber Castell Polychromos. Very expensive, as in they're as expensive as Prismacolors, but they are beautiful. Yes, the old Beryl Prismas. Very much so, Kerry. I agree with you on that. I had actually had a set when they were the Charisma Colors by Beryl, and they were far superior to the, what they are now. They seem to be all wax now. I've got some that you can barely get any pigment down with them anymore. Or once you do, you know, it's just a layer of wax and you can't blend them with anything else. Which is a bit of a shame, actually. It's mostly the, the premieres and the very thins that are, are like that. The old ones that I've got, the really old ones, that are from when they first stopped being beryl. Um, I think those are actually the nicest ones that I've got at the moment. But I've heard quite a few people say that since they've gone to be made in Mexico, they're not as good because they use a different formulation. So I'm not alone in thinking that, I think. Or well, we're not alone in thinking that. I think that's all right. That's not too bad. All right, let's get some. Ooh, I've got some pretty tape. Look at this pretty tape. 
It's like lace, but you can see through it. Is that cool? So maybe I'll use a bit of this. I want my tea. What's everybody having for tea tonight? I'm seriously considering fish and chips after that. I haven't decided whether this is going to be one that I don't put anything in. Because technically you're not supposed to put anything in mail up. Um, but I've got a couple that need letters. So I might I haven't decided whether this is going to be a letter one or not yet. Right, watch this. This is really cute. I love this. Uh, I don't like not being able to find the ends on my washi tape. But I do love washi tape. Pretty. It's even better. I did a like a rainbow effect the other day, and I put some of that across, and you got all the different colours coming through. It was really gorgeous. I love that tape. It's called um, Victorian lace. Curry. Oh yes, curry sounds nice too. Ooh. Mm. Karen Dash Pablo's. The pencils. Mean these. <laughs> I've had these for years and years and years. These are from, these are the pencils that I had in high school. Oh, meatballs and rice. That sounds nice too. Okay. I think I'm going to leave a block. Put the stamps in. Because our post office gets a bit funny about things like that. I'm not quite sure why. But they don't like to be able to see the stamps easily. woman in our post office gets quite shirty with me if I got too elaborate with my decorations. You have to be able to see the postage. Okay, I'm sorry. A bit of that on there. I think I might turn, do this one as one that doesn't have it. That has an opening, so. Thank <laughs> you. 
be really careful when trimming things off envelopes so that you don't cut through the actual edge of the envelope itself. She says, from experience. Uh, what have we got? Oh, if I use my set pen, I can use my markers. Is the camera wibbling about? It is out the corner of my eye, but I don't know if it's enough that it's causing me problems. Your post office just keeps complaining. Yeah. My post office is always complaining about something. I really don't understand what the problem is. It's like we pay them enough to do the job. Just, you know, be thankful that some of their envelopes are pretty. Stop, stop buying tape and start using it. I love my tapes. I really do. I'm a big, big, big fan of tapes. In fact, I'm going to put some more tape here. This is a cool tape. It's got... I couldn't decide whether to get the spots or the stripes. And this one has both. Is that cool or what? doing doing it Wednesdays, I have to say. I'm not a particularly sociable person, but I do like being sociable online. And I just miss chatting to people while I work. I'm hoping to set up some bits like this for Summer Long, where we just, you know, if we can get a few people on Google+, Plus, just doing their arty bits, just chatting and whatnot. That would be cool. Var is mine. Black pencil. Whoops. Black pen is too stark for what I want, so I'm just... Voila. I think she needs something in her hair. She needs something in her hair or something like a little pet type thing. Oh, I know. Let's give her an owl. Reason. Let's just give her an owl. Why not? What, what's an owl look like? Sleepy Owl. <laughs> oh, these are fun. I like this. I'm going to get my... Um...
Marker's out. Uh, oh, nice. Nice. I also like that I can use my markers over those pencils. You get a lot of um, waxy residue if you use markers over Prismacolors. Drew over my owl. <laughs> I was intending to go behind him, but oh well. originally started with, it's just my interpretation of the, the concept. Okay, how now brown owl? To it, noticed. <laughs> that owl looks how I feel too, yeah. Or at least how I felt earlier. I've got a bit of a headache coming actually. I'm wondering if it's. Oh, and it's hammering down with rain. Marvellous. Uh, I was wondering if it was going to thunder earlier, to be honest. It was so dark and dismal, and dogs are going crazy. Like quite literally going crazy. Oop, that might have been a bit too dark, but never mind. It's quite difficult to draw on crinkly paper with markers. It kind of bounces. But oh well. Just make it look like you meant it to be like that. Needs some. Yeah, that'll be. Size this a bit more, shall we?
that yellow with that blue. Let's add some of that in. I should have gone with markers in the first place, I think, because this, this paper is really thin. So it's actually really good for markers. I wish the Pro Marker chisel tip wasn't the chisel tip. I wish it was the round marker. You know, like on the. Um, the Apple markers and the neon markers. Got this lovely round, chunky tip. I really wish that tip was on these. Because that is a gorgeous trip, tip to work with. This is a bit jaggedy. with a little bit of maybe some pink. So what's everybody working on at the moment? Are you are you playing along or are you have you got any mail art questions? There's always there always seems to be the one question people tend to ask most about mail art is what's the point? Um, if you don't see the mailing point in mail art, then I suggest you either do it until you do or you don't bother. <laughs> It's good. It's good. It's good. It's good. the same as art journaling. A lot of people don't understand the point of doing art in an art journal where nobody's ever going to see it. If you don't understand the point of doing art journaling, then don't do it. I absolutely love mail art. Mostly I love getting mail art, I have to say. Oh, and I have to just say, uh, for those who were in my mail art group, um, you know who you are. If you've sent me something, you will still get something back. And everybody who was signed up to that mail art group, um, I do have your addresses. Um, so I will still send you something. Um, and obviously, anybody who's already sent me something, I've got your addresses. So, you know... You will all get something back. I uh, can't guarantee when, but you will all get something back. So don't worry about that. Just because I'm not in the group anymore doesn't mean that you're not going to get your mail arts. She reminds me of... Who does she remind me of? She's an artist. Only in a kind of roundabout way. It's just the way she's got her hair and that bluey colour. Oh, what's her name? She's just cute little Frida's and Canadian girl. Um, not girl, she's a woman. Siamese cats. Draws a little red riding hood and Frida and paints them. And Oh, what's her name? Tasha. Tasha. She kind of reminds me of Tasha. Tasha Parkinson, is it? Because she's got curly hair that she kind of pins up in a very flowery way with a flower in the side. 
don't know why that just came to me. It just did. She, she kind of reminds me of Tasha. Right, what colour am I going to put in here? I need a colour to put in, blend in that bit. I think maybe I want to go blue, but I don't want to go that blue. Maybe a very light powder blue. Scrap paper. Mm, that's a bit too powdery. Oh, lots of, ooh, crikey. Looking like rain there too. Well, you're not very far north of me, are you? Shaz, aren't you just up near Manchester way? It's absolutely, it was absolutely hammering down earlier. It's just kind of dull drizzle now. We're back to Coronation Street weather. Tombow brush markers. Yes, I do like my brush markers. I don't have the Tombow ones. I have... Oh, that's a good point actually that's the right blue for what i want uh, i have these which are the whispers ones by sugarloaf but they're almost identical uh, thin on one end thick on the other brush tip water soluble really good that's about the right color actually that's the color i want good thinking cisco i'll shove some of that down and water color it in Blend that across so it goes green. Of course, it probably won't watercolour now because it's on this silly paper that doesn't blend very well. But we can give it a go. Uh, if you have her YouTube Addy, it should show up on your page. Who? Oh, did I miss something? I'm doing Google, how do I get to YouTube? Uh, I don't understand the question, I'm sorry. Bolton, yeah, I didn't think you were very far north of me. We have to do an out and about journaling session in somewhere up that way. Isn't there an abbey up Bolton way? Um, Bolton Abbey, in fact. No, this isn't going to. The watercolour is too, the paper is too absorbent for that watercolour. this time is there an animal <laughs> oh I'm hungry <laughs> I'm getting shakes because I'm hungry uh, I think she needs another another little doohickey let's give her a little doohickey down here in fact let's give her a couple of little doohickeys uh, pink one and a dog pink one and a little yellow one and the other one. Uh, one. I've rediscovered stickers as well. Stickers are ace for mail art, I'm telling you. <laughs> stickers and tape and markers. <laughs> owls don't look like cats at all. I know this because I just built an owl that does, in fact, look more like a weird cat. I had to build another more owl like one. Okay. I must have missed something there. Missing a mountain in a junk journal made from newspaper flyers. That does count, yes. Playing along in an envelope, marvellous. Finishing a journal swap, excellent. Darcy's making owls and cats that look like each other, apparently. Oh, I do hope it's going to be nicer weather tomorrow. I really want to go out and about. But if it's horrible, horrible weather, I'm not going out in it. It just makes me miserable going out in that kind of weather. Right. I think I'm maybe a bit mostly done with this section. Oh, I was going to do some blue. Um, just 
to even that out a bit. That's better. Okay. Marvellous. Now, what I kind of want to do with this side is... Oh, sorry. I just finished that flipping over. Uh, I've got to put her eye glints in. I'll do that last because it's acrylic paint. It always takes ages to dry. Oh, I got serious deja vu then. Oh, that was weird. Anyway. <laughs> Okay, where do I put the Addy? Ah, good question. Yeah, I probably should have told you about that, shouldn't I? <laughs> I have a little bag of doohickeys here. What I use for sticking on envelopes to send. Sometimes I use one of these. Or I use a label. Or it really just depends. Often I just use one of these cards, which are, these are just, um, they started off as index cards, so they've got squares on, and I just cut them in four and rounded the corners. Um, and one of those is usually big enough. So if I cut it maybe about there. Good job you asked, isn't it, really? Because I would have been merrily carrying on. You'd have done all your envelope and then gone, where, where am I going to put the, um, the address now? Uh, corner rounder. Hey, you're impressed. I know where my corner rounder is. Things I've discovered today, there's a difference between tidy and organised. Organised, I can do. Tidy is never going to happen. There we go. That can go on there like that. And I think I will... Let's bring some of that yellow and orange over. like so and then I'm going to use the edge of my pen because this is quite absorbent paper so I can use the edge of my pen run along like that and it'll kind of leak into the paper that way so that this edge doesn't look quite so stark and then that will sit nicely on there write your address on it, you see? It's basically exactly the same as you do an art journaling page and then you think, oh, I was going to write on there, where am I going to write now? So you collage a bit on. Which is why this space is deliberately fairly blank, so it doesn't matter that I'm covering it up. That actually matches up with that quite well. There you go. Add these some sticky.
And depending on how I do the address and how I write it and everything else, I may go around that in black afterwards. Just like... Kind of like that, just to give it a bit of extra oomph. Let's just do it anyway. You could also start by marking out an area like I did for my stamps. You could mark out an area where you're going to write your address. I could have marked out an area here where my owl was and sat my owl on top of it. So, um, obviously return address needs to go on here. So. Going to put something on there. Now, if you send mail art like this, um, so what some people do, if their uh, envelope is very elaborate but there's nothing in it, they will actually put on it this envelope is empty just so that the person who receives it knows that there's nothing in it that, for them to open it. Um, Whereas I would normally put open here, you know, if there's some way of opening it. Like sometimes I don't want to m mess up what I've drawn down here. So I'll cut a slit here and I'll put um, washi tape over it and I'll say open here. So lift the washi tape up and, and then you don't ruin this bit. Um, but I'm kind of assuming most people use a letter opener, to be honest. I use a letter opener. I always open envelopes at the top there. So return address, I fancy using that pink on this side, quite like that pink. There's that. And I might just do collage on this side. Shall I collage or shall I... Collage paint, collage paint, collage paint. Oh, I know. I'm going to use... Oh, I wanted to see if this would work. Uh, now, this didn't come through onto the other page, this marker. So I'm going to assume that the marker I'm going to use it on here won't go through to the front. Um, but if you're worried about that, put a piece of card inside it and work on either side. And then if your marker goes through, it won't go through to the front of the page. Um, where did it go? Oh, come on, I had it here just now. Here we go. I want to see if this will work with markers. It should do, shouldn't it? Stencil should work with marker. That's the reason why it wouldn't work. Okay, it's a bit tricky getting into the corners. If it gets too wet, it bleeds under the stencil. But so far, it's working. It's not going to be a clean outline, but I'm, I'm okay with that. Again, would be much easier with the round ended markers. These chisel tips are just not much use for anything. Are they aimed at boys or something? Boys like chisel tips or something. I don't know. I like the round tips, they're much easier to deal with. Okay, and I'm going to go back in with that red in the other areas. Try the thin end this time, see if that's easier. Yeah, a little bit, not much.
That works. There you go. Another way to use your stencils. Jelly pate, schmelly pate. <laughs> I'm sorry, is anybody else sick of jelly plates? I'm, I'm just so tired of seeing them. It's like nobody knows what to do with stencils anymore, other than using a jelly plate. Every single video I've seen about stencils lately has been, oh, look, I'm going to get out my jelly plate and make 4,000 papers that I'm never going to use for anything. That may, that may just be me. I think this stencil was a freebie because I've got two or three of them. I think it came as a pack of three or four on a magazine. I think it was actually a wallpapering magazine or something, or a, they're supposed to be wall stencils. So it's got a fancy thing that you put it in a hanger and stuff and stick it to the wall. Or tile stencils or something like that. I don't know. It wasn't an art magazine anyway. They were cool though. Oh, I quite like that. Let's... This pen I'm using is a, a proper letra set pen. Uh, thank you, Darcy, for pointing me in that direction. I was bemoaning the fact that I couldn't use my black pens because the Unipol pens are alcohol-based, so if you use them with um, markers, they run and they, you, you don't get nice clean lines. And if you then use them over the black, kind of spludge out all over the place so yeah I couldn't figure out what to do and she said oh well you know the Letraset ones actually work with Letraset pens <laughs> oh really okay apparently Copic have what some as well because I looked it up <laughs> so if you're having that trouble get yourself the ones that actually go with your markers and then you won't have that problem who knew eh? Roses have like serrated edges, like that. I think they do. That somehow that looks right to me. Rose leaves have serrated edges, don't they? I'm sure they do. Yeah, jelly plate fad. I I'm quite. I understand why people like them. Okay. I'm not against them. I think everything has its place. But everything now is... Oh, making art journal backgrounds. Oh, let's use our jelly plate. We're going to do some painted papers. Oh, let's use our jelly plate. We're going to use stencils. Oh, let's use our jelly plate. <laughs> Come on. I don't have a jelly plate. I'd like to play with one. But I don't see the point in buying one because everything you can do with a jelly plate, you can do on one of these. So, it seems a bit of a pointless expense to me. If I ever see one on special or something, I might pick one up. But need some orange. We need some orange. Orange, orange, orange. Orange paper. Orange paper. Do I have some orange paper? Oh! Now. Oh, now. Oh no, I've got some orangey tissue paper somewhere. Orangey paper. This orangey paper. I think I've got my tissue paper in the other room because I'm just using it for that area. So 
I don't know where I put that, but this is orangey, this one. Is. Oh, that's nice. Yep, I like that. I'm not even looking at colours anymore, I'm just picking up random markers. <laughs> I'm in the zone, everybody. I'm in the zone. They do have serrated edges. Okay. Wasn't going completely mad then. I always have to think about what way to send, do it so that I get the white of the paper showing. <laughs> Almost. <laughs> I like that colour I pulled out. What's that? Mahogany. consider it's a oh aqua markers don't soak into this paper quite so much good I like that from the front.
you're not allowed any new toys unless you use the ones you've got. Good idea. Painting on tea bags. Interesting. You got a jelly plate a month ago and haven't opened it. Oh, excuse me. Yeah. That's I think that's what's what would happen to me. If I got a jelly plate now, I would just not open it because I'm bored of other people doing it. You know, in a year's time when everybody else has put theirs in a drawer and not opened them for eighteen months, I might consider getting one. <laughs> that's not too bad, I quite like that. Uh, I think we could do a bit more. needs a little something on this side so I think I'm going to put a little bit more black tape on it. You can see the text and everything through the, the lace. Isn't it pretty? It's such a cool effect. I really like it. I'm happy with that. I think that will do nicely. Needs a little something on that top edge. Uh, I think maybe. needed a smidge of something there. There we go. I think that's my mail art for the day. One down, about 200 to go. Sorry, I haven't showed you it properly, have I? Might as well do her eye blobs now because I'm going to put her over there to dry. So. Blobity, 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 blob, blob. Doing anything specific, I'm just using up the bit of paint that I had. <laughs> right, so if you're waiting for mail art from me, you might get one of these, or you might even get this one, you never know. Ooh. I might even add to it before I send it, you know, I do I do tend to do that. Add extra bits. Right, what next? We've got should I finish there? Get, we can all get some food. <laughs> I'm so hungry. Oh I'll show you how to make a oh here's a good uh, way of doing um, envelopes. Right. Um, you will need Whoops! Drop my phone. Hang on. Whoops! <laughs> Don't want to do that. Um, you will need a magazine page. I use a large magazine, but I use good quality magazines. I tend to use things like Harper's Bazaar and Vogue and stuff like that. Um, not because I'm particularly into the models or anything. I just I like the quality of the paper. Um, and you can use anything for this because you, you can decorate it again, you can decorate it afterwards, but get your paper out. 
And what you're going to do, am I going too fast? What you're going to do is fold it so that you've got about an inch at that end. Crease it, but don't crease it too hard, because if you crease this paper too hard, it goes really thin, and then it breaks. I usually reinforce the edges with tape, at least on the inside, if not on the outside. I think I actually want to use this side as the outside, so... Okay. Now, turn it over so that the long side... No, the short side is on the inside. Oh all over the place today fold it up so you've got about an inch left okay and then get your ruler where did my ruler go seriously i had it in my hand just now there it is we're going to take off a bit from this edge okay use whatever common sense you've got just take a bit off that edge it needs to be big enough to fold over same on the other side okay now we're going to fold this in along that edge that's why I didn't bother cutting the edges fold that in along the edge fold that in along the edge you see where I'm going with this now can't you okay now, obviously, if you fold this bit down, it's going to get big and chunky. So what I do is I fold this edge down. And then I cut off from that corner upwards. Um, you don't have to do it particularly well. Just cut across that corner. If you want to match it, take that bit off, put it on this side, and cut it that way. But I don't really care. I just cut it. And then, of course, you take these bits down. But then that is really, like, really stuck in there. And it, you can't really put anything. You could put something in it, but you couldn't really do much with it. So... Here's where it gets clever, okay? Don't fold the whole thing in half, just crease it in the middle of this shorter piece so you know where the centre point is. Tear it vertically a little bit, kind of sensible for an envelope. Oops, screen's gone off. Okay, so you've now got these bits and then this bit here. Okay, now I'm going to glue these edges down. I find it easier to glue the edges down first. You may find it easier to fold it first. Do what works for you. Okay. See, now you've got something to fold against. So you just tuck that down there. And see that angle there that you cut that? You just line it up with that angle. Same again this side. Fold it in. There's that angle that you cut there. Just line it up with that angle. Roll it down. Sometimes you have to tear it a little bit more to make it the both sides go down. Fold it down. And now your envelope flap doesn't fit. Oh no! What are we going to do? Oh come on. You're very slow today.
Mm, fingers and thumbs. All right. So it overlaps in the middle. Sticky, sticky. Sticky, sticky. I have to say I normally do this afterwards once I finish the envelope and then stick it all down. Oops, tape was stuck that bit and didn't stick that bit. And voila, an envelope. If you want it to all match up, then you can... I've managed to stick that down and not overlap it. I told you, I'm having a day. Here we go. <laughs> if you want to tidy this up, you can just snip those little bits off. We can just fold them in, it makes no difference. But, yep, that is how you can make one sort of envelope. Well, two sorts of envelopes because you don't have to do the elaborate folding bit to get a triangular envelope. I like triangular envelopes, you see, I don't like straight envelopes. But if you just want to make a straight envelope, like um, here we go, like this, see. I just added a bit extra trim to that one. So I did a bit more because I liked this text on there and then that's just stuck in. So they're quite handy for doing things in your journal things. You can get templates online as well if you if you don't want to risk messing. Um, you can get this sort of thing where you just cut it out on a piece of card and then you can just make a template out of it. But I lost patience with those. I wanted to find my own ways of doing it. Um, there are also ways of doing threefold envelopes and things like you don't even have to fold more than once. Oh, she's fierce. Not in a good way. Oh, well, that's pretty. I like that one. <clears throat> Basic threefold envelope. You can just fold like that. Fold like that. It tends to work best if you trim it at the edges or cut it properly first. I'm just going to cut it like that and then you can just tape up the sides. Uh, let's use some of this. Hey, off, Marie. Okay. Take care. See you in summer long at some point over the summer, hopefully. And if not, next week. There you go. There's one. There's two. And a little envelope. I like to trim these so that they're a kind of a purse shape. So I just cut them from that crease up a little bit from the crease like that, just so that it sits. I prefer envelopes that sit nicely like that. I don't like them sticking out the edges. We could do that. How many of you have got sealing kits, wax sealants, and never used them? Drop some wax on, stick your seal on. That's how they used to make letters, you know. They used to just write on the piece of paper and then just fold it up. There's um, quiet. Let me see if I can remember how to do it. There's a way of folding a letter that it actually tucks into itself. I don't know if I can remember how to do it. I can't remember. I'm going to have to look it up. She used to fold it up and then 
fold it that way and it would literally it would tuck into itself so you would obviously not like this you would take that end and pop it into that corner and turn it into an envelope um, school notes people used to make school notes like that I suppose you could do that actually that would work if you stuck a bit of tape on it <laughs> and I don't even know how I did that um, I folded it over, I folded it over again, I folded it almost to the end, folded that bit in, and then tucked that bit into there. That would hold if you, if you, if you stuck a bit of tape on there, that would hold. And then you've got an envelope as a letter. There's lots of different ways of doing it. Um, a lot of the Jane Austen films, they always have a, a very clever way of folding envelopes I'm sure there's ways of doing it online so there you go there's that one there's that one and there's that one which is fiddly but I like to do that one because I like the triangular bit I'm sure you could probably if you folded this over so it was a bit longer I could have taken these out and just cut this at an angle but I don't like to waste paper and it would make the envelope smaller so but makes for some quite interesting envelopes and of course once you put something inside it they're quite sturdy um, but if you want them to be weatherproof or whatever then you need to put cellar tape on them or sealant or something or I put um, washi tape around the edges that's pretty, I like that one, I like how that one came out. Yeah, I like that one. Well, I think I've exhausted my mail art thing for today. So, this was just an ordinary pre-made envelope, by the way. It's just an ordinary A5 envelope. So, I think I might stop there and go and get some food and some headache tablets. <laughs> oh, really bad head. Funny light in here as well because it's a north facing room. It's very grey and bleh outside, so it's not very light in here. Uh, I didn't miss anybody, did I? No, I don't think so. Lots of viewers today, I like that. Um, an idea from Edie on Crafty Link. Uh, uh, what was? What was? Tea bag painting. Didn't she do tea bag painting the other week? Or coffee filters or something. I never quite got into that. I don't really see the point. Like I say, if you can't see the point of something, why bother doing it? That's just a waste of energy. Kerry was worried I'm gonna, I was going to cut off my owl's head. Oh no. No, as if. He was cute. He's a sleepy owl, but he's cute. So, um, oh. Q&A, anybody got any questions, class questions, art journal questions, other questions, burning questions, 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 preferably not mathematical questions, I don't do maths, we, we went, oh, we went to go, because it was such a nice day on the bank holiday, and uh, my flat kid came home from work and she said, you know what, I think I'm going to go down to the shop and get a beer and sit in the garden. I thought, hey, that's a good idea. We needed some milk anyway. So off we went with the dogs down the shop to go and get a beer and things. And um, I was looking at the price of milk and I was thinking, trying to work out, because they had like four or five deals, and I was trying to add it up and work out which was four litres and which was two litres and whether two of those on the special offer was cheaper than two of those. I couldn't do it. I couldn't. I just couldn't do it. I came out. I get handed all my money to the to my flatmate. Just said, "You you figure it out. You go and buy some milk." <laughs> oh my 
my brain just didn't want to work. <laughs> Shall I tidy up a bit yet? I might do some more envelopes, actually. I need to get some more done anyway, so I might just leave this out. Before I go, oh, here we go. Uh, before you go, can you tell me how to get week half on summer long? The link is taken to me, the welcome stuff. How to get to week one or two? Oh, right, okay. Um, yeah, I see. So when you go into summer long, you've got the header stuff and then you've got the course stuff, but it's all the welcome bits and then you've got nothing underneath. If you go down to the bottom, just just down here there's a little box and it'll say jump to and when you click on that it'll take it'll give you a list of things so there's that way which means you don't have to keep scrolling up and down you can just jump to the one you want or if you go to your welcome section just here there's two like little squares two little boxes together if you click on that icon everything will expand and you'll be able to see everything again um, and if you want to click close it up, you click on the little square and it closes it all up again. So what you've done is you've gone into one section and you've narrowed it down to one section using that little square box. It's about there. It's not that big. But it's about there. And if you can't see more than one section, you click on that box and it'll expand everything. Click on the box again, it'll, expand, it'll close it down to whichever section you click the box next to. Um, but if you just want to be able to see this without scrolling up and down all the time, just use the jump to box down here and go jump to May the 8th to the 14th or whatever. It's set up as um, dates so it's easier to do rather than week one, week two, week three because that gets confusing. After four weeks even I'm confused so I've set it all as dates. So you just hop to 8th to the 14th which is this week and it'll take you to week one. It's not in that list. What's not in that list? Which link are you clicking on, Tracy? Are you clicking on the link in the discussion forum? Because if you're clicking on that one, it's possible I've put the wrong link in. There's always a possibility. Teacher error. Hi. Oh, Gypsy coming to check on the kitty cat. Oh, blue skies come back out again. Yeah, you just missed it, Claire. We're just stopping now. Jump 2 only has October. Uh, okay. Oh! Hang on. Still could be teacher error. It may be me. Un momento, por favore. Hang on one moment. Oh, it's me. It's not you, it's me. There you go. Refresh and you should be able to find it. I'm sorry. I put it on hidden. I forgot I put it on, put it on hidden while we were doing the... Um, updates last night so it didn't go live at midnight and then I forgot to take it off hidden so it went live but you couldn't see it. Sorry Tracy, my fault. Thank you for letting me know. <laughs> what are you all shouting about? Cat's shouting at the dog. <laughs> I've got the smallest cat in the world and a German Shepherd and the cat is shouting at the German Shepherd. Right, I think I'm done on mail art for, for now. I need food and headache tablets, or I'm not going to last the evening. So I shall bid you all adieu. Thank you for coming, and um, at some point, 
I'll find my mouse, which... <laughs> oh, yes, the cat knocked it on the floor, didn't she? <laughs> oh, it's going to be one of those days. It's here somewhere, I know it is. Have you found it now, Tracy? You should be able to find it now if you refresh. I found my mouse. <laughs> Yes, you've got it. Excellent. No, it wasn't you, Claire. It was me. It was me. <clears throat> Definitely me. Had a moment. <laughs> I'll remember that for next week. Right. Have a good evening, everyone. See you next week. <laughs>